everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank. And the webinar will be about JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. It's a pleasure for me to have you once again here. And uh, once again, so many countries uh, from all over the world, at least uh, it looks like because of the names. But anyhow, uh, my name is Stefan Friedrichowski. Uh, as always for JFD Invest webinars in English. You may know that we have the same in German, uh, but uh, those webinars will be done by Chris. Um, and he's doing it, I think, always on Friday. Today we have the um, 8th of August 2019, and um, we will have a close look to JFD Invest. But what is JFD Invest? JFD Invest is a trading platform to one end it's a digital world's management to the other end and finally what you are doing and you are involved as a portfolio manager of your own account so you get a new job if you um, go for jfd invest and if you try to um, follow um, it's not really a try, I mean, you will do it. Uh, if you follow trading strategies which are launched at JFD Invest, and that is what JFD Invest is about. JFD Invest is already a collection of um, good working trading strategies, and you decide which one you want to follow, and that means finally that the trades are copied directly into your JFD Invest account. And therefore, still, you are involved because the selection process, yeah, that is your job. And I will guide you a little bit of what aspects might be important uh, for finding uh, the, a good fit between your own preferences and those key figures you will find already for those uh, pre-selected trading strategies. As always, you know, before I really start, I want to show and I will show once our so-called risk disclaimer. Uh, what's about there? Uh, quite simple. Finally, I talk about trading, I talk about investment and everything like that. But um, when it comes to your own decisions, um, they are on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. And um, if you need additional advice, please uh, look for that. If you have questions, then you can contact support at uh, jfdbank.com or you may even um, found my email address already on my first slide, s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. Okay, I haven't mentioned that, then we can really start. So as always, I want to share with you first uh, the highlights of uh, last week. And uh, the highlights of uh, last week uh, yeah, was clearly driven by the strategy Hyperion. And I will look to the strategy uh, later a little bit more closely. Uh, that strategy earned last week uh, close to 12% in one week. And uh, you see already here um, a short version of uh, the performance uh, picture of that strategy. And overall, the strategy is uh, close to 100% uh, growth and that it's um, achieved within one and a half year about. So we have to look to that strategy, but you see already there are drawdowns, yes, and we talk about that. And um, we talk about some other strategies as well. You see, the other top three have been Butterfly and Neptune, and not with those numbers like uh, Hyperion, but maybe it's a good thing to look into those as well. So that all have been the highlights of last week, but now let's go for uh, how you can become part of uh, JFD Invest at all. And um, the first is um, you just visit the web page of uh, JFD and then you go for investing and there you go for a JFD Invest. And um, then you uh, see already that next uh, slide here and that is investing made easy. First of all, I scroll down a little bit because then you can see already that um, 
we have more than the three strategies. In total, later you will see we have 15 uh, strategies up and running. And the top five performers are always highlighted on the web page, and uh, the performance uh, figures are updated uh, overnight. So it's not a real life um, view on those accounts, but we can go much more close than you think. You see that we, we have double-digit growth for any of those uh, top five uh, strategies. Uh, and you see already some additional key figures. We have to look into those quite closely because they are important. Uh, and uh, the most important one, as I always highlight, um, is uh, the equity balance deviation. It's something like drawdown. And it's something, yeah, if you see those numbers, those numbers, if, if you would go with exactly with one strategy, then your overall account um, would see the same equity balance deviation, the same kind of drawdown. So and you see already Hyperion has a minus 40%. And you see now two aspects. One is, does it fit to my preferences? And the other is, build your own portfolio. So my recommendation is always why put why to put all the money in exactly one and a single strategy. Uh, no, we can do uh, a selection and then we can diversify um, over a couple of strategies and then those kind of drawdowns would not hit you in the same amount. The other thing, of course, if you have a let's say twenty thousand k account, um, you might just invest the 5k into Hyperion, then it would be only one fourth of the drawdown in your overall account. And it's an additional element of diversification and not going in with um, with all your money into a single strategy. So the, therefore, I'm really a friend of uh, diversification and of portfolios. And when we later look into my personal JFD Invest account, you will see I'm diversified in five uh, different uh, strategies. Okay, but how to get started? Okay, um, in order to really join those uh, strategies, that's really quite easy. First is you sign up for a JFD Invest profile. That is just a registration uh, procedure. So just your name, your email address and, uh, and password. And then you can uh, get more details about those trading uh, strategies. If you like it, okay, then you may open um, a JFD Invest account, which is a special trading account. And the special about that account is it has a leverage of 1 to 100. So it's a professional one because you follow professional traders. On the other hand, you cannot trade by your own directly in terms of open a trade like uh, go long euro US dollar. That's not possible, but you can follow those strategies. Then you connect the two and then you are uh, ready for following any of those strategies. If you just want to have a quick view, um, you can use our guest access as well. Uh, that's uh, just pressing the blue button. And then we see already the complete picture of available strategies. And you see in total, we have 15. So there's a second page and uh, they are always ordered against um, the return, at least if you don't change the order here. You see the same kind of key figures, inception date, return overall last month and year to date. And finally, the uh, what I mentioned, the quite important number, equity balance deviation. I will talk about that when we go for Hyperion because that was the uh, best performer of last week. So we definitely have to look into that account um, more close. And that's quite easy. You get all the details about any strategy just by clicking um, that strategy. And then you get additional details um, about that account. You see, for example, the overall growth. It's the same picture than in the shown email, uh, but not now a little bit um, bigger. And uh, you see, OK, very good growth. It has already exceeded the 100%. And now it's uh, steadily going again uh, to to that kind of level and you see we have a monthly return table if that would be totally green okay that's perfect <laughs> and we have strategies like that um 
I think um, well, which one is totally green? Forex GAN, for example, is totally green. So not a single negative uh, month um, ever since inception. You see the strategy is trading since uh, one and a half year now. And um, you get all the additional statistics about that kind of strategy, like number of executed trades, profitable winner, average loss, whatever you need, you will find in that table. Which is quite important, at least for me, is to see what kind of instruments are traded. So that's quite easy. We can look to that as well. And now we see that the strategy is mainly um, trading DAX and Dow Jones. <clears throat> Um, the other uh, symbols are only um, they are quite rarely traded. In total, more than 2,000 trades being executed. So that's really uh, a good statistic behind. But now, let's go a little bit further uh, to the different kind of charts you can have here. And what I show you here is not only just to show you the graph itself. It's what I mean with those elements for your own selection procedure and that means always a question do i like the strategy and does it fit to my preferences and what I, do i mean with preferences i mean for example there might maybe one um who say okay a 10 percent drawdown that's a nightmare i cannot uh, go for that um that's fine with me and i cannot give any recommendation about that um but if we, for example, would go with all money into that single strategy, definitely that would be not a good fit to your preferences because that strategy has more drawdowns than the 10% level. On the other hand, as I mentioned, you can put that kind of strategy as part of your overall portfolio into your uh, JFD Invest account because you are not limited in how many strategies you follow, follow. You allocate a certain amount of money and that amount of money will be traded for a specific um, trading strategy. So you can diversify and then you may even um, get that uh, equity balance deviation down to a level of for example, less than 10%. That's just a matter of allocation. But what is really equity balance deviation? So we have that number even as a chart and equity balance deviation is quite important and it's simply the difference between equity and balance. Okay, uh, that's a bad explanation. Um, the good one is balance is always your account with all closed trades. So, and if you don't have any open trade, then equity equals balance. But if you have open trades in your account, those trades might be uh, in profit or in loss. And exactly that difference is called equity balance deviation. So what does it mean if we have, for example, a number like minus 40%? Okay, let's assume that the account has been at 10K and there have been a lot of trades open. And those trades have been in minus with 4,000 euros. That is exactly exactly the minus 40%. Those are called floating losses because they are not realized. They are floating. They may get finally realized even as losses, but they may recover. And as we have seen up to now, everything has re recovered uh, in most cases with the strategy Hyperion. And that is, we can see, we see those drawdowns and then it goes up again. To have that picture a little bit more clear, we can go for equity because equity indeed has two graphs, uh, two lines. And the one is the balance line and the other one is the equity line. And here we have, see exactly that kind of equity balance deviation. And uh, with the two lines representing equity and balance. And now you see, oops, What's that? What's that drop down here in March uh, this year? Okay, very quite simple. You remember the growth within the growth chart? We don't have that March drop down within the equity. We have that drop down. What does it mean? Okay, that was a risk problem on that account. Um, that has nothing to do with uh, your money or if you follow the strategy. It's uh, just uh, matters for the yeah, for the master trader, for the real owner of that account. And if he or she uh, 
takes out uh, some money, okay, it's no problem for you. And that was the step down. And so you, you can figure out uh, those details just by comparing equity and growth. Let's go back to equity balance deviation. You see, what I always do is I, I do just as a, um, as a guide to my eye um, and averaging, and then I would say, okay, it's about in average minus 10%. Okay, so I, I get a key figure for that strategy. So now it's up to you. Mm, you like it or you don't like it. But let me point out some more details. There's, uh, if you go for the details, then you will find a minimum investment sum for any strategy, and in this case, it's 6K. You see how many investors are following that strategy and how much money is involved overall from those investors. And finally, you see, okay, there's a performance fee involved. Let me talk about that because that performance fee is high watermark based. And that means only if your followed strategy reaches new highs on a month's end base, then you would have to pay that kind of fee. So if uh, the strategy is just oscillating, okay, you, you may have to pay once, but then not anymore because there are no new highs. So that's a good thing. Um, and so you only have to pay if there are real profits. And that's good. That's a, a quite fair concept, uh, which is behind. And everything is done on a month and base, or if you step out of such a strategy. So we see part of our review process is looking to equity balance deviation, looking for the drawdowns, and then we can figure out is that strategy good for me? Yes or no? Definitely, if uh, you just and only look for uh, the best performance at all, Hyperion would be the best fit. But therefore, I talk about those different kind of preferences because the one has just um, a view on return, the other one on the combination of drawdown, return. What I virtually do always is um, I, I go for the quotient between return and equity balance deviation. And in this case, it's a little bit more than a factor of two. And that is telling me something like the risk reward ratio, but in a different sense. Normally we talk about risk reward ratios in terms of trades with stop loss and take profit. But now this kind of risk reward ratio or reward risk ratio, better to say, um, is telling you yeah, how much profits you can get for which a risk and therefore um, that ratio is a quite cool number. Let's have a look to other strategies because maybe there are strategies with um, different kind of numbers exactly for that one. Uh, you see already Archimedes is one of those uh, candidates. Here we have a return of 30%, but with an equity balance deviation of 6.5%. So in terms of reward risk ratio, here we get a higher number. But on a long run, we don't have that kind of profits. So, and now, once again, you see why it's good to go for diversification. Why not um, put some money into that strategy, some money into another one, then you get a perfect uh, match. For example, if you look for Forex Gun, we have a totally different kind of behavior. That's the overall growth. That strategy, for example, is trading Euro, US dollar exclusively and nothing else. And uh, you see, we have a minimum investment sum of three and a half K. And if you look, for example, here for the equity balance deviation, totally different picture. Um, very small numbers. Okay, there has been a minus 10% number once uh, last year in August. But on the other hand, that strategy is not that profitable compared to Hyperion. Um, so in terms of return risk ratio was once again uh, a two. So um, it's up to you which one you like more or you go for all of them, um, not, maybe not exactly all, but those who, which fit to your preferences um, best. Finally, I would show you one equity, one 
completely as a strategy, which is really acting completely different. And this one is uh, Gold Rush. You see already, if you look to the growth chart, it's a different behavior. That's, that's the reason is simply because of different kind of um, trading activities. Here for that strategy, there are, are no elements of um, rebuys like in two other mentioned one. Um, here we have a strategy which is trading just intraday and opening trades um, around midnight, closing the trades before next midnight, even before uh, any swap cost, any financing cost would uh, occur. And that's all. So it's totally different kind of um, trading uh, activity with combined with that strategy. You see the number of symbols being active and that strategy is really long. It's um, more than 30 uh, different uh, underlines which are traded um, almost equally distributed, but only almost. And strategy is really um, trading um, just with statistics. So the entry is based on analysis of a week of the day, instrument and trade direction. And if there's a preference for a specific element to go, for example, north on Tuesday, then that strategy will find out exactly those kind of ideas and execute. This week was a brilliant, what I mentioned, going long on indices on Tuesday. That was a good hit this uh, week for that strategy. And that was exactly the reason for that good growth uh, two days ago here. Um, because the strategy uh, earned a lot of money there. Mentioning indices, we you remember Hyperion is trading um, DAX and Dow Jones, DAX and uh, Dow Jones mainly. That strategy, um, yeah, does profit from from Mr. Trump um, because of all uh, yeah the different uh, activities and. Um, he sent down, uh, sent south uh, all the indices more or less, and uh, that was really good for Hyperion. You see, once again, what's good about diversification? Here we have had a good hit with going north on Tuesday with Gold Rush, and Hyperion did profit from um, going overall south over the last two weeks. That's a good combination, isn't it? So that's a good kind of diversification. And therefore, um, you know, therefore I mentioned all the details about those strategies. So over the time, you learn more and more about the different strategies and uh, you can uh, get a better feeling for any of those. Finally, I like to, to show you my personal account uh, as always. And um, Still, I don't think it's any time to change uh, allocation, but then I can show you some more additional details of how to to um, follow a given strategy, for example. And uh, well, first, let's start with my balance of that account, starting last year in September, at the very beginning of JFD Invest, and then uh, until May this year it was oh, a fantastic growth. And then we have uh, three steps down. But now we are in the recovery process again. Um, honestly, I like that I have those three steps down because um, until May it was a little bit too perfect, but still I'm close to 25% gross profit, which is really an excellent result. Uh, close to the year end of, uh, or the first year end of uh, that account. So it's a good growth and um, you see what's possible. So recovery process is ongoing. And let's have a view on my current allocation. So what I'm showing you here is a JFD Invest account following. Oh, in total, it, now it's, uh, sorry, I forgot that. It's uh, six different strategies and you see which one I selected. And um, that is my real, that's a real portfolio. It would look similar if you have a, your own JFD Invest account, you can do exactly the same kind of steps like I do here. And then you see the allocation. And um, finally, what we see, okay, is there money left to be reallocated? 
this time no because there are only 300 euros left and that means we cannot follow any new strategy we could do but then we would have to stop any strategy first stopping is really easy it's just action stop allocation pressing that you get another uh, confirmation question and then all trades of that strategy are closed in your account and strategy is stopped and the money is relieved so um, you can invest that money you allocate up to now in that strategy to a new one so it's really just a mouse click the other good thing is what i virtually do here is you can do at any play, place uh, on the globe you just need access to the internet then you log into your account and you can change uh, allocation you can stop allocation you can change things so you can do it wherever you are you have always everything available any information you need your account the strategies and then you can um, execute so that was the process of stopping for example any uh, strategy and let's uh, do virtually at least uh, follow a new one okay if we would like to follow uh, for example gold mine yeah it's just pressing the button follow and then we get a question um okay how much money do we want to allocate for that strategy in this case a uh, minimum investment would be 500 mm. in this case still not available so i can't do it finally but at least i want to show how it uh, you can do that and uh, the other thing what you can do is you can go for risk management and let me explain what that means if you press that button and confirm um, what you read before then you can change that slider and what does it mean it simply means okay if we go for example with 500 euro into that strategy uh, which is a number i would not go for because that's a little bit too small if you go for the details of that strategy you will see mm, you should increase that uh, number but anyhow let's assume we go with 500 euro and the risk management is set to uh, 50 percent that would mean that whenever strategy has floating losses of 250 euros the strategy would be stopped and that means all trades are closed from those, that strategy and the strategy itself is stopped so no no new trades would be opened coming from that strategy so you can use that in like a stop loss level where to put that slider hmm that's the question you can only answer what i would always do is in order to get answers for that i would look to the historical equity i would look to uh, equity balance deviation in order to get a feeling for um, those numbers so that's the reason why i would always look to that um, directly here in order to decide what kind of risk uh, management i want to apply or even if i want to have it at all so finally uh, you can even go for the 100 percent level um but that i would only do if i have a good diversified portfolio uh, so if one strategy would be ruined it should not ruin, ruin my personal account you see all the elements we are discussing here are activities like a portfolio manager you need to have a close look to all those strategies really dive into the, those strategies in order to get a feeling does it fit to your preferences does it create a good portfolio if you add that strategy if you step out of this one and so on and so forth and those little elements are the one is a job uh, just a job of a portfolio manager and that's quite a cool job i do that um, quite well i think at least my my overall account looks good and what i can really tell you i like that job i do that kind of uh, review process once a week um normally do it i do it before those webinars and uh, you don't have to do it on a daily basis. you might even do it on a monthly basis. um if you have already an investment in jft invest and then, then think about doing any reallocation process stopping that one jumping into a new one uh, 
I don't, at least I don't think that this has to be done on a uh, daily basis. So weekly is uh, fair enough. You see what you can achieve? That could be your JFD Invest account as well, um, like mine here. And uh, you can see double digit growth for that kind of portfolio. Um, gross return, 25%. I'm definitely sure, I will, or I hope I will achieve it on the month's end base for um, my first year with my first JFD Invest account. That's for now. If you have any additional question, please do not hesitate to contact me or you may contact JFD via support at jfdbank.com and uh, we will help you uh, as soon as we can. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the webinar and have a good time. See you again next week for the next webinar. Bye-bye.